20 years ago, I bought this pair of binoculars, but for the past 10 years or more, I haven't used them at all because they're covered in this disgusting, sticky slime. The same goes for this flashlight. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a recurring problem with a lot of products, maybe you've experienced it as well, where they're covered with a product finishing material, which after a couple of years, turns into this disgusting, slimy mess. I finally discovered the correct solvent to use to get rid of this material so you can clean these off and start using them again. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Have you ever bought a tool or an item that was covered in some kind of a plastic coating that felt really good in your hands until after a couple of years went by and then it started getting tacky and sticky and then just started all decomposing and turning your uh, once really nice, useful tool into just this disgusting thing that you never wanted to touch? Well, that's happened to me on a lot of occasions. This is a flashlight made by Goal Zero and they coated it in whatever this plastic polymer product is, which I like to think of as the designed obsolescence finish coating, where they know that if they cover something in this, eventually it's gonna get so disgusting you're not gonna to wanna to touch it, and then I guess the idea is that you buy another one. I finally found out what you can use to get this off. I've tried alcohol, I've tried uh, I think turpentine, paint thinner, all sorts of different types of things. Gasoline, 87 octane, unleaded gasoline, seems to do it. I've been looking for years and years uh, as to you know what I could use to get this uh, surface off and it's just unleaded gasoline. So I'm putting a little bit on a rag. It's getting that awful coating off. That's it. That's it. That, that's the end of the video. Usually I kind of like chat your ear off for a while, but that's it. You got these products that have this disgusting designed obsolescence finish coating. Put gasoline on a rag and rub away. Whew. And now I get a usable flashlight again. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video, here's another that I think you might like. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people you see on the right hand side of your screen. They help to support all the work that I do here over at patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and get your name added to the list, the link's below.